Hi, how's it going? This is Brett from WebTech with Brett, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can unpublish a page, post, or product on WordPress. As you can see here, we're in our WordPress dashboard. Now you can get to your posts up in the corner here. So what you're going to want to do is click all posts. Here we're going to see a post listed here. Now if you want to unpublish this, you can go into here, and where you have your status here, you're going to quickly change this to draft. When you click update on that, you're gonna quickly update the post to draft. So now if we try to access this from the front end, we're only gonna see a preview mode because we're logged in, but if we go to this in a non-logged in admin account, you're gonna see a 404 page. Now again, we're back here at the posts, and what I've done this time is I've duplicated a number of these items because I'm gonna show you how you can bulk publish or unpublish these items. If you select the ones you want, to be selected by clicking the little checkbox here or you can click this one at the top and select all of them. What you're gonna do is under your bulk actions, click edit, click apply, and down in the corner here, you're gonna have something called status. Now, if you click that, you can go put these to published, private, pending review, or draft. So if we put them to published, this should now activate and go through all of them and set them to be live to the public. Now, in terms of pages, these are done exactly the same way. You're just gonna change where you go in the admin dashboard. So for pages, you're just gonna head under here, pages from your left and sidebar. And you're gonna be able to unpublish them. You can use the quick edit thing here, change the status to draft or published, or you can go inside, run them from the sidebar, or use the bulk edit thing to publish and unpublish these items. Moving on, we're gonna show you how you can do that with products. Now, products are gonna be slightly different because we have simple products and then we have variable products. Now, overall, you can do the products in the exact same way that you did the pages and the posts, but when it comes to variations, it's gonna be slightly different because you may have some variations that you don't want there anymore and others that you do. So under here, we are on our product page. Again, you can just use the quick edit, change the status to draft rather than published if you want to unpublish the page, use the bulk edit thing. But now inside our variation product, this is where it's gonna get a bit different. Now again, you can always publish or unpublish the whole thing by using the edit up here and change the status, but we're not gonna do that because we only wanna do it to specific variations. So as you can see, we have three different types of the same product, which is different colors, where we have red, orange, blue. If you do plan to sell this product in the future, but you just have no stock of it, it's under your stock status here, after you've clicked into one of these items, you can just change this to out of stock. Now this means that nobody's gonna be able to order this specific product because there's no stock associated with it. Now, if you do want to actually track stock on here, you can just click the manage stock and actually set a stock quantity. So if you have 10 of these, once the 10 are sold, then they will no longer be available to general public. Now, if you want to remove the product altogether, you can simply click remove up here in the corner. So where we've got blue, if we click remove, that variation will be gone. So after we update our page, that will no longer be available on the front end. Now, if you do want to bring that back, you can go under your attributes, colors, and since we still have blue selected there, we can then go to our variations and click generate variations. This will generate only the missing variations, which will say one has been added and blue. I just realized that I forgot one other way that you can do this and it's actually way simpler that I should, probably should have mentioned it just before, but I'm gonna show you now. So in order to change these products or disable them, um, rather than actually changing the in stock to out of stock option, you can just click the enable button. That option will no longer be available. And that does it on how you can manage your products using the drafting system on WordPress. Or if you are using vari variable products on the store, then send them to out of stock to make sure they're no longer available for public to purchase. Now, I hope that video has been helpful. If you are a business and you are looking for somebody to manage your WordPress for you, go to this QR code on screen and send me an email and I'll be happy to help you with anything you need, WooCommerce or WordPress related. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.